Hi, and welcome to this special movie-themed edition of Thermomix. What? Blade Cover, not Blade Runner. Back in a minute. I'll have to change the titles now too. Okay, so what is the Thermomix blade cover? This little gadget here. And why is it exciting? Well, I'm going to give you five reasons in a minute. But first, let me just show you how it fits. So if we take our lid off, grab the bowl, we can see inside. And this will work in either a TM5 or a TM6 bowl. And just take the blade cover and you simply twizzle it until it fits on top of the blade like that. Five reasons to get excited about the blade cover. First one is that it eliminates human error. Illustrate that here. Here's a bowl of chili cooked without the blade cover, and we forgot to put it into reverse. As opposed to here, you've got chili cooked with the blade cover, nice big chunks and beans and things. Reason number two, you can actually cook more meat in there. So if you're cooking chili and you don't want it to get broken down, you can put it into the simmering basket and pop that in with your sauce underneath. But you can actually only get about 500 grams of mince or meat in there. Whereas, if you've got your blade cover in, you've got all that extra space. And that also goes for cooking anything like potatoes or anything in large quantities. So that, of course, brings us to reason number three, which is that you can feed more people. Reason number four is slow cooking. Even though the blades in the TM6 don't turn all the time in that mode, your meat will still break down. And if you're doing one of the shorter recipes where the blades are turning all the time, it's gonna break down more. Reason number five is cooking sous vide. Now, without the blade cover, you'd have a hard job fitting four bits of salmon in. But obviously, with the blade cover in there, these are all easily going to fit into that space that you've got in there. But I'm not cooking those today. And um, today I'm actually going to be cooking some baby squid, which I'm going to be stuffing with a salsa that I made earlier. And I'll show you that bit later on. So that packet I'm just going to pop in. You can use proper vacuum seal bags, or you can use Ziploc bags. Just need a good quality one that says it's microwave um, or you know heat proof, basically. And to vacuum seal it, just drop it into the bowl, submerge it, and then pull your zipper along almost to the end, and then push it underwater, and all that air will escape. So sous vide means under in French, and vide means empty. And it essentially means the packet is empty of air. So I have my blade cover in the bottom there, and I put water in just up to the level of the blade cover. Now I'm just going to add some more water until those packets are covered. And we're going to select a sous vide function. Got wet fingers. <laughs> and we're going to be cooking this, I think, for an hour. I'll probably go and check, but I'm thinking it's an hour. And 50 degrees. So that's what I really love about the sous vide function as well, that you can control it so precisely. Pop our lid on. And off we go. Okay, so um, here's the salsa I made earlier. It's just chilli, tomato, garlic, coriander, a little bit of chorizo, a um, bit of onion. You, you can use any um, salsa of cookie dough. So we just unpeel. Pull out one of our little squid tubes. It just feels like it would melt in your mouth. And then we're just going to stuff it with a little bit of the salsa. So really I'm doing this just to show you that you can be quite creative with all this. Um, it's, Thermomix is really easy to use manually as well as using cookie dough. But you've always got that backup of cookie dough there for you. It's a bit fiddly. Okay, so we're just going to griddle this off. So we're going to pop it, or put it cut side up. It's really just about searing it. And I've also got some little tentacles there. 
won't take long. I want to get it a little bit brown. So here we have it, exciting reason number five to have a blade cover. So you can make this sous vide baby squid stuffed with chorizo salsa with a little sriracha mayonnaise. So enjoy your blade cover, make sure you use it, and don't forget to check out Cookie Do for all the best recipes. Back in a minute.